Hey guys, Lynn Rush here, talking to you from steaming hot Arizona. It's only May 1st and we're going to be hitting the triple digits already, which is yikes. But uh, I just wanted to say hi and uh, answer a couple questions like I like to do. So you can go over to my website anytime and drop me a question if you want to. There's uh, www.lynnrush.com. There's a little tab that says uh, Q&A, so feel free to do that anytime. But I've been posting, if you haven't, if you haven't seen, uh, Grand Canyon training and running lots of trails and things like that. So um, in case you don't know, I'm going to try to uh, run as much as I can as far as uh, going straight up for nine miles, the Grand Canyon. I'm going on Monday, which is only a few days away, so I'm kind of getting things ready along with getting ready to go to RT out in Dallas in May. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit about that. Uh, I haven't taken a crazy pill. <laughs> I get asked, why do you do crazy stuff like that? Um, and you can thank my dad for that, it's, you know, pretty much my, in my DNA. Uh, my dad's a, a mountain climber, a marathoner, you name it. He's climbed uh, Mount Kilimanjaro and Rainier and all those crazy things. And so it's kind of in my blood. And if you don't know my husband, Charlie, he's with Cadence Physical Therapy and he's a triathlete. So I kind of married into crazy as well. So it works. Anyway, I love the challenge. Uh, if you guys didn't know me before, a couple years ago I had kind of a, a life-changing surgery and I thought, you know what, how am I going to recover from that? How am I going to stay, you know, focused and motivated and emotionally, you know, ugh, when you're recovering from a big surgery? And uh, I said, you know what, I've never run a marathon. I'm going to try that. That's going to be my goal through my recovery, you know, because I slept on a couch for six weeks, uh, if that gives you any indication. <laughs> and, you know, I did it. I, you know, a few months, well, more than a few months later, six or seven months later, you know, I was running a marathon. I didn't quite make my time that I wanted, but... I was out there, I was trying, I was getting focused and uh, staying positive and motivated. You know what? And a lot of the crazy things I do out there, um, a lot of people wish they could even be doing something. Um, and I run and bike and do crazy things for them too. And if you don't know my story, uh, I lost my mother-in-law Lynn to cancer and it kind of started on me, you know, this journey that I wanted to do something with the Lynn Rush world and my books and the proceeds and stuff like that. So I donate uh, part of the proceeds to cancer. And I recently um, kind of joined up, not joined up, but I'm supporting also One Mission who builds houses down in Mexico. Um, and you might have heard about that because we biked 207 miles back in February to raise money for that. So, I mean, I'm not doing any kind of fundraising or anything for this Grand Canyon. I'm just kind of doing it one for me, um, a challenge. It's a bucket list. I'm not doing the technical rim to rim. I'm just going to go, <clears throat> excuse me, go down like I think it's six or so miles and then up a different uh, trail for nine miles. So, it, you know, it's not quite the rim to rim, but it's still a challenge because it's about 15 to 16 miles. So, and I'm doing it with my dad. So that's number two. It's daddy daughter time. It's making great memories and, and that's important to me. And I love hanging out with my dad and he's a huge inspiration to me uh, along with my husband. He's not going down the canyon, but he's going to head up there and, and do some other training because he's working on training for Ironman uh, this, actually this November, Ironman in Arizona. So got lots of crazy going on. But another reason I mentioned earlier was there are a lot of people out there that would love uh, to even be able to walk down the block without feeling horrible because they're dealing with cancer or, you know, whatever ailment they're facing. Now, um, whenever I do one of these events, I always carry down some names with me or I um, tape them to my bike. You might have seen that back in February. I taped quite a few names to my bike because, you know, you're doing these events. You know, it's five, six, seven hours. Um, at least this one is going to be... Um, in, in your mind kind of wanders and, and you're like, you know what, I'm going to think about or pray about or whatever, somebody who is uh, dealing with whatever's going on. So I've got a few people that I'm going to be uh, thinking about and praying for and just sending out, you know, good vibes if that's the way you want to say it. Um, for me, it's mostly just uh, praying and really just thinking on them. 
And I know that they would like to be out doing something and not dealing with, um, you know, the hand they've been dealt. But let me tell you. All right. So we've got, obviously, we're always going to have Lynn. Um, she she lost her battle uh, with cancer, but she was a huge inspiration to me. So she's on every shoe or every bike or whatever I'm doing. Um, the next one is Mary, a uh, fellow writer, writer friend of mine. Her mom's dealing with some some pretty nasty stuff. So I've been thinking and praying about her. And uh, then we've got Frank, a fellow writer friend. Um, he's got an amazing story, uh, but it's Frank. Frank, you know who you are, and I'm always thinking and praying for you. And then we have Jim, my bestie's um, dad, who's uh, dealing with some junk again um, that just recently came up. So uh, if you're pr the praying type, keep all these names in, in your prayers. Um, and I'll be thinking about, of you all when I'm hiking down the canyon. So that's a little bit about what's going on. I didn't take a crazy pill. I just love the adventure and I love the challenge. The training's hard and sometimes I don't want to do it, but I always remind myself that I can do it. And I posted a, a graphic. I post a lot of graphics on my Instagram. So if you ever want to follow it, I'm at Lynn Rush Writes, but it just says um, it, it never gets easier, but you get stronger. And, and that's the whole idea is just keep moving forward. And that applies to my writing world, um, just life in general, uh, and exercising for sure. You just got to keep pushing and uh, moving forward best you can. And it keeps you motivated and focused. And for me, you know, the health reasons, the, you know, praying for my friends and the people struggling with things, but also plotting books. I don't know how many books I've plotted while I was out running or biking or whatever. Um, so it, it, it can help people in different ways. But for me, that's what's going on. I didn't take a crazy pill. I just love having fun and having a challenge and trying to just be healthy. So um, be thinking of me on Monday. <laughs> We'll be starting, you know, pretty early in the morning out here in Arizona time. And uh, I think it's going to take about five or six or seven hours, just depending on how the day goes. I'm just hoping to finish and, and you know, not lose a shoe or <laughs> twist an ankle or something. And um, I'm really excited to spend the time with my dad. And hopefully, I'll see some of you guys at RT out in Dallas in May. And I've also been kind of planning for that and, and brainstorming and thinking of um, fun little gifts and, and prizes. So be sure to follow me on Lynn Rush Writes. Um, on Instagram, and I'm just plain old Lynn Rush on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Rush underscore Monroe. So feel free to to follow if you're there. Look for me, um, and I'll be hanging out, watching for you guys. Thanks for all your support. Love you guys.